Hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching. It would mean the world to us if you could just scroll down, like, hit the subscribe button for the Snaps YouTube channel. It goes a long way towards helping us out. Now, let's dive into some college football. Settle the debate. Who mm. wins a hypothetical game between 2001 Miami Hurricanes mm. and the 2019 LSU Tigers? What is the final score? Mm. This is something that... I wish I had a clear-cut answer. I think there's a tempting clear-cut answer, which is to compare Joe Burrow and Ken Dorsey mm -hmm. and say that that puts LSU over the top because mm -hmm. Burrow's season is still the most amazing thing I think we've ever seen in college football in the modern mm -hmm. era. Uh, that said, Ken Dorsey was a two-time Heisman finalist when I was looking it up today. He did win the Maxwell. The stats are not as gaudy, but as we know, it's a different style and time mm -hmm. football wise. Um, I do think that Miami edges out LSU on the overall talent. So you just have to ask yourself, is the Joe Burrow Dorsey gap enough to make up for that talent gap? I think the entire offense, I just, uh, you look at the scores of LSU that year and even some of the teams they faced and the points they put up is just like, Oh my God, just, just jaw dropping to go back and look at some of the stat lines from Burrow and the receivers. Um, it, and it's not like LSU's defense was anything super special, but they were good enough. I mean, especially the second half of the season. I think in well, today's they, they, game, they, they, had, they had to be secondary. They weren't yeah. like too, too dominant on the line. They had a couple NFL no. guys, but like Christian Fulton. Derek Stingley Jr., Grant Delpit, like those are all really, really, really I think the offense is too players. good. I think LSU's offense is too good. I think LSU's offense and that just too many good receivers with the quarterback that had statistically and, and just eye test wise, probably the best single season that I've ever seen as, as a quarterback. And I listen, I love the Miami team. Like that, Miami was one of my favorite teams growing up. My mom went to Miami. I had a Ken Dorsey Jersey for goodness sakes. Oh, nice. Um, oh, especially yeah. the number 11, you know, I, I was rocking. That's like, that was one of my, my teams back in the day, but the firepower on that LSU offense to me, you know, I know there's a bunch of studs on that defense for Miami. I think it's too much to handle way, way, way too much to handle. So I take LSU 42, 31 and and don't forget that oh 42 on a defense though oh, well let's go through some of the names here because 42 on that defense does feel a bit presumptuous mm. it's just that i think that like miami also maybe wouldn't put up i think miami's office average like 42 the year and by, by the way real quick guys if you put hashtag snaps mailbag in a comment i'm gonna co i'm copy pasting them onto the document so like you can put them in whenever and i'll get to them by the end of the show but um I mean, here are some of the Miami names. In fact, if you just look at NFL Hall of mm. Fame candidates this year, and I think this is with some guys already being in, Devin Hester, Andre Johnson, Reggie Wayne, Vince Wilfork, Jesse Armstead, Jeff Beagles, all Hall of Fame candidates. It also had Ed Reed, Sean Taylor, Jonathan Vilma, Antrell Roll, Jerome McDougal, Clinton Portis, Willis McGahee, and Frank Gore were the backfield. Oh. Jeremy Shockey. And tied in. I mean, and and look, LSU has obviously like Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow. I mean, Clyde Edwards-Alaire is a first-round pick. Mm -hmm. uh, I mentioned some of the defenders. Um, I think there's a couple underrated guys at LSU offensive line. I mean, just this NFL offseason, you saw Damian Lewis sign a fifty-plus million-dollar contract for guard. You saw uh, Lloyd Cushenberry, the center, sign for over fifty million dollars. What was the difference in the draft? I mean, uh, what Miami had seventeen. Miami had thirty. Me. My, Miami would end up having. 38 players selected from that roster. I think LSU would have 30. Um, that next think. year, though, Miami had 17. LSU had 14. But LSU had 10 in the top three rounds, which was a record. Yeah. Um, how about this? 21 of the 22 starters from that LSU team um, ended up on an NFL roster, mm. which mm. is kind of unbelievable, insane. So did you answer it? What, what's, what's, who are you taking? What's the score? I, I mean, my answer means nothing because I'm biased. I watched Joe Burrow firsthand. Somebody in the chat, Chance, mentioned the will to win. I say this all the time. Watching Joe Burrow that mm -hmm. year was like watching a Marvel movie in that when you watch it, like, you know, Captain America is going to be fine. 
You know what I'm mm. saying? He's going to fucking win. I don't care how bad it looks. I don't care if there's any sketchy moments where maybe it looks like he's on the ropes. He's going to reach down. He's going to throw the fucking shield and he's going to win. Like that was Joe Burrow. Mm. I mean, even they got down 17 7 in the natty. And credit to that defense. They came down, they, you know, ended up shutting him down. But yeah, so yeah, bias incoming. I agree. Damn good dog. Like, Recency bias. Joe, bias. Joe in that in that national championship ended up thirty one of forty nine, four sixty three, five touchdowns. Bro, look plus, what he did to plus Oklahoma. Fifty eight yards week rushing, and and in a touchdown. Yeah, but look Oklahoma's what he did to defense. Oh, yeah, Oklahoma's I know, defense. I know, but still, uh, yeah, and that was a good Clemson defense. It's true. Yeah. Um, I mean, let's see what they did to Georgia's defense in the SEC championship game. Twenty to thirty eight, three fifty four touchdowns. Bro, he threw sixty touchdowns in fifteen God. games. Uh, give me, yeah, give me LSU like 31, 27, but again, I now, but then it gets even more complicated. Are we playing 2001 rules or 2019 rules? Yeah. Uh, you got to play the newest rules. The game. Okay. Yeah. But I'm saying, I don't know. I'm giving, I might like flip my score and give Miami the small win. If we're back in 2001 rules and we're just fucking taking hats off. off. Yeah. Like I'm sending Sean Taylor and Ed Reed to kill Joe Burrow. Yeah, like just straight up to kill Joe Burrow mm. to see to see if he what 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 will happen. Mm. Um, so I, again, you can't go wrong. Both incredible. Don't if you're a Miami fan listening and you say I'm wrong, like I ain't gonna fight you. I, I'm biased, but uh, yeah, give me give me Joe, just because again, Joe. and it's impossible not to feel like Ken Dorsey might have been good in college and he was like 38 and two as a starter, but look what Joe did in the NFL compared to Ken. Not that's fair, but you know, it is what it is. Um. <clears throat> all right. Let's see. Yeah, that's why it's impossible to answer. Says that. Yeah. Fun though. Fun to. I mean, again, yeah. Devin what's Hester, another team Andre that could be in that conversation? Way, Vince Wilfork, Jesse Armstead, Feagles, Reed, Taylor, Vilma, Roll. It's. I mean, the backfield of Portis, McGahee, and Gore alone yeah. is mind boggling. So is LSU 2019 the greatest team of all time? Uh again, I I would say greatest offense of all time. Full stop. Without but a wait, doubt. Where like wait, if you're better than 20. You know, 2001 Miami, like what other teams are we throwing in the conversation? 2020 Bama, 2020 yeah. Bama is one that people always throw in there. Yeah. Um, and, and, and again, that's impossible to judge because of the COVID stuff. I mean, no doubt that was an unbelievably good team, mm -hmm. but they were also juiced up because nobody handled better uh, COVID better than did Nick Saban. Mm -hmm. So that becomes a weird game to play. Um, you know, I'm, I'm there's if you go and you look at like some like World War II years and stuff, because remember the transfer portal existed during World War II. Mm -hmm. There are some insane, it's either it's one of the military schools, I can't remember exactly which one, but they just they all the transferred there because you didn't have to go, you, you couldn't get uh drafted, yeah, yeah. So well, and, and also, I think they were paying him. I'm not, or I there was mm -hmm. some reason. I read a book, I forgot what it was called, but they um, what was the book called? But yeah, you couldn't get drafted if you went to one of the military schools. So all these kids kept transferring to them, and they won like three straight natties, I believe. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, know. there was um, 1945 Army is the team. I remember on one of the snaps, we, we went into uh, this team, but... They finished 9-0. and They should have five of their nine opponents. Um, Notre Dame was second in the country. They beat Notre Dame 48-0. to cool. Penn was sixth. They beat Penn 61-0. to zero. Their total score of the season was 412-46. to 46. Like, I'm a believer when comparing errors, you want to say, how are you compared to your peers? Mm -hmm. And that's maybe the craziest year mm -hmm. ever. But again, an asterisk in the form of yeah. uh, World War II. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and having the resources honey, that these other honey, nations <laughs> didn't have. Yeah, Nat, Nat Lovell says, holy shit, I just looked up Burroughs' 19 stats, 60 touchdowns to six picks. Yeah, it's insane. 